Hi friends, welcome back to Coffee with Ravi. I thought we'd go back to a brief COVID pause and I had three points to make. And I'll talk about them very briefly. Number one is cases are going up, maybe not so much in Black Hawk County, but in US. Second point is I wanted to touch on how protective the vaccines are. And third aspect of it is I wanted to talk about protection against mutants. So if you look on this first slide, this is from the New York Times COVID tracker. You can see that our cases, as they go, uh, as as you see the month-to-month uh, -month average, have gone up. That's concerning, and the, there's many different factors that are going into it. Perhaps because with the arrival of the vaccine, people are loosening up. There's more social interaction. There may be a role for some of these mutants. So, in one way, there is this dynamic that's ongoing. On the other hand, vaccinations are picking up. Uh, and by any count in Iowa, there's at least about 30% of people who have received at least one dose of vaccine. So that's promising uh, uh, in it, but I think it's kind of a reminder for us to keep our guard up and not let it down too soon. In Blackhawk County itself, you can see that there was that big surge uh, that, that goes up in blue, and then it's been staying sort of steady, uh, a little lower than last year, perhaps, if you look at the graph, uh, but still uh, some cases that are uh, ongoing. The second point is that uh, this uh, Center for Disease Control uh, came up uh, with the recent data in real life. You know, what happens when the vaccine makers release their data is that they have done studies in the setting of a study. And this one is actually done in real life conditions by the Center for Disease Control through what's called the HEROES network. In the CDC HEROES study, about 4,000 participants, after they were vaccinated, swapped themselves every week, even though they were not sick. They just wanted to see if there was any kind of silent carriage. And in that, about 90% of them had no infection. And in a very small percentage that actually got COVID, none of them got severe infection. Severe infection, by the way, is defined as if your blood oxygen, which we measure with a small device called pulse ox, is less than 92, or lung infiltrates, uh, uh, in other words, the pneumonia affects at least 50% or more on the X-ray. So therefore, it seems that even the first dose is about 80% protective, and the second, people who've had two doses, it's you know it's about 90% or more protective. By the same uh, token, uh, the data that from Allen uh, Hospital internal data or Unity Point data suggests that. Healthcare workers who have been vaccinated and who are asymptomatic uh, and they've been tested for other procedures or something that they come in with, the uh, number of cases are like one in, a, in 500. And in people who have become symptomatic for some other reason, it's about three out of a 500 case. So in other words, it does can happen, but it is super protective vaccine. And that's the good news as it relates to that. The second piece of data as it relates to the vaccine is that the vaccine seems to be protective against mutants as well. I had covered my mutant uh, uh, type uh, data in my lecture 40. Um, the, this seems like in patients who have been vaccinated and have been exposed to mutants, especially the one that is the uh, B.1.351 uh, variant, uh, severe disease is seems like it's very uncommon and uh, uh, in people who have been uh, vaccinated. So therefore, uh, that's a, a point of uh, good news and uh, brightness because this is real-time data in patients who have been vaccinated and who have uh, been exposed to the, uh, these, uh, these mutant varieties of COVID-19. It seems like it's protective. The bottom line seems to be that if more people as a population can get vaccinated, and per, from a personal standpoint, if we are vaccinated, and I think we are still able to uh, uh, mingle with other vaccinated uh, adults uh, and families, uh, the, uh, that seems to be safe. And CDC has come out with some guidance on that in the last week or two, and especially today being Friday when I'm taping this, they just came out with some guidance on travel as well. So overall, it looks like in a cautious way, spring is here, but we need to keep encouraging our friends and family members to take the vaccine and to continue to do 
some social distancing when we are not sure about the vaccination status of others and still wear masks. And I think that's how we start easing into more and more of a COVID-less uh, uh, society. So thank you again, uh, and I hope you enjoy uh, the spring-like weather that we're having.